who here was excited for the new show Dan Dan? It came out yesterday. I've been super excited about it for like a month because I saw the trailers and I said, hmm, this looks really cool. I really want to watch this. I really liked the animation in the trailers. I thought it looked really cool. And then I watched the opening with Fairy last night. I was like, oh my God, Creepy Nuts. You know, the guy that did the bling, bang, bang, bling, bang, bang, bling, bang, bang, bong. That one? Yeah, he did the opening for Dan Dan. And I was like, oh, this is class. I'm super excited for this. Don't watch it. If you actually like Dan Dan, Dan I hope that someone is sent to check your computer for child pornography. <laughs> because that was disgusting. It started off really good. Like it was just like this girl standing up for herself against a dude that just wanted her to put out and buy him nice things. And then it was really cool that her friends were all like really kind of like, you know, cool. And one of her friends is a gyaru, like a totally like yaru gyaru. The girl is a complete Yankee girl. Like for anyone who doesn't know, Ken Takakura is a really famous Japanese actor and did lots of Yakuza action and tough guy roles, so this is why she really likes him. And she stands up for this kid that's getting bullied. And it's like, oh, that's nice. I like anime like that, where the girls are standing up for the guys. I think it's really cute. And I was like, yeah, this is cute, this is cute. They're like 16, 15 years old. It didn't say what age they are, but I'm imagining they're like first years in high school in Japan. She stands up for him. And he's reading this UFO magazine. He like completely like autism, like special interest dumped on her. And was like, yeah, I really love UFOs. UFOs are amazing. And then she's like, shut the f up. <laughs> and it was like, whoa. And then she really upset him. And you're kind of like, aw, this poor little nerd, bless him. He was just, you know, being too excited because he thought he had a friend. But she apologized and she didn't, mean, she didn't mean it. And it was really like, you know, nice. And she told him that she believed in the paranormal and ghosts and yure. And he said, I don't believe in that stuff. That stuff is silly. And her grandmother was a spirit guide. So that's why she believes in spirits because she really looks up to her grandmother. So they decided because she doesn't believe in UFOs. And he doesn't believe in spirits. So they decided to go look for the opposite thing. So he went to look for ghosts and she went to look for UFOs. And you're like, okay, this is, this is cool. I like uh, ghost anime. I've never watched an alien anime before, but I like the girl character. And I think the guy character is cute too. I'm wondering when it kicks in, it's going to kick in. So she sends him to this haunted tunnel and inside the tunnel is this ghost of a grandmother or something like that. The ghost was really cool. The first thing the ghost says to him is, do you want to suck on my tits? Let me eat your weenie. It was kind of like, what? And then the animation got really wild and she was trying, he ran and she tried to chase him, but the, she has like time magic. So the tunnel was moving further away and she cursed him. She took possession of his 15 year old peen. I can't make this up. So the girl was at an abandoned building looking for UFOs while this was happening. And she found the UFOs, like the aliens. The aliens ripped off her clothes and held her down to gang her, a 15 year old girl. It was so weird. It was so weird. Myself and Fairy were sitting there and I was like nearly telling Fairy to turn it off because they were literally about to gang or her. It was so freaking weird. And from halfway through the episode, she's just naked in her underwear and bra for the whole rest of the episode. This was episode one. And this is the most anticipated anime of the fall season. I was like... This is so bad. They're kids. They're 16 years old. They're children. They're 15, 16 years old. They're literally kids. They're teenagers. Teenagers are kids. It's so weird. And apparently it just gets even worse. Apparently in like chapter 17, he basically mounts her in the middle of the school in front of everyone. Like this anime was banned 
from Viz Media. It's so weird. And there's so many people that are defending it. Then they're saying stuff like, you know what kids are like in high school, you know, that's just, you know, it's just giving a good description of what it was like to be a kid at 16 years old. It's like, just say you like seeing 15 year old girls naked, you pedophile. As a 29 year old woman, I have no business watching that. And do you know what? It just, it just drives me mad because this is why I need mangakas to have their pictures on the back of manga because that is a predator. What age is the dude that wrote Dan the Dan. The author is Yukinobu Tatsu. Oh look, he doesn't show his face. I wonder why. What age is he? Most mangakas don't show their face because they want to remain anonymous. I'd want to remain anonymous too if I was writing inappropriate stories about underage children. 37. He's a 37 year old man. I just can't wait for the law to come in in Japan that they have to have their pictures on the back of manga. Like I was just excited because everyone in the world was talking this anime up. Everyone. Everyone was talking up Dan the Dan. Grown ass women, I know, were talking this up. But I just don't understand in 2024 how that's even allowed. I swear to God, anime is getting worse and worse every single year. It's getting more disgusting. I just don't want to watch that. Why is anime becoming so degenerate and like weird? Blame it on the etchy guys. Yeah, facts though. Let's be honest, facts. Like it's just blame it on the market that want this. I can't watch an anime anymore without there being like most of it being fan service or underage girls being like sexualized. And that's just disgusting. I don't want that. I don't want that. I wouldn't care. Like honestly, I wouldn't be here saying these things if the characters were 19, 20 years old. Fine. Cool. They're adults. Fine. These are children. That's weird. And the more that this is allowed, it just puts children in bad positions when people think that this is okay and you can watch this stuff. It's weird.